Today I'm going to show you what is a normal in Blender and how to use them in Geometry Nodes. Let's delete everything and let's create an object with a lot of faces. For example, a nitosphere. Now I want to see the normals of this object. To see the normals, we need to go to Edit Mode and go here and go in Normals. So we have three types of normals. Let's start with this one. If we click here, now we can see these little blue lines that these are the normals. To see it better, what you can do is to increase the size of these lines. So this is a normal. A normal is a line that shows you the direction of the, for example, if this is a face, is the perpendicular direction of this face. This is 90 degrees. So this is a normal. So every face in an object has the normal. It's a vector, it's a direction. And also what we have is the normals of the vertex. As you can see, I'm going to hide the other ones. And later we have these ones that we almost never use it. That these ones are more complicated to explain, but basically this is like for each face, a vertex have like a normal. But the most important are the face normals, these ones, and the vertex normals. So you can see that every object we create, it has normals. Let's add more objects. So as you can see, every object, it has their normals. So now, how we can use this information in Geometry Nodes? Let's go back to object mode, let me delete everything, and let's add a simple object, for example, a cube. And now let's go to Geometry Nodes, let's close this and this panel, and let's create a new profile. Actually, I'm going to use, for example, an icosphere. And let's add more subdivision. So, for example, what I can do is to add objects in the vertex. To do this, what we have to do is to add instance on points. And now we need to use an object. For example, let's use a cone. Let's make it smaller, something like this. I'm going to add join geometry so we can see again dicosphere. Now, I want this instance, these cones, to point out, to point in the direction of normals. So what we can do, first, if you want to rotate this, we need to click one of these. So how we do that? We have this node called align earlier to vector. And here in vector, we can use the normals because normals are vectors. So if we connect normal node, and now we select Z, now these cones are facing the normals of the vertex. So this is one use of the normal node. Another thing we can do, for example, if we want to push to move these objects in the normals direction, so outwards, outside, to do this, we need to add before, before instance on points, so we work with information of the icosphere, we add set position because what we want to do is to offset these cones, but we want to offset in the normal direction. So in offset, we can use again normal node. And now, if you leave it like that, they use the normal direction in one value, so it's offset one meter. If you want to control this, what we can do is just to add here a vector math in a scale. And now, if we leave it like zero, they are attached in the object, but if we increase the scale of the normal, that means the direction from the center, now we can move these objects in the normal direction. So this is another use of normal node. As you can see, there is a lot of ways to use the normal node. And this too is one of the most common to use in geometry nodes. So now, every time you see someone using this node, you will understand that this is basically taking this 
arrows that we saw before and use this information to do something in Geometry Node.